start with Agatha all along. The final two episodes, the first one, episode eight, follow me, my friend, the glory at the end. Essentially, this can be summed up. This is the end of the road. And (laughs) we we talk about this all the time. Like, the shows continue to be defined by their their ending. Mm -hmm. And arguably, Agatha all along, with the last three, four episodes, so basically half of the season or a fair amount and it did start off strong yeah um yeah. it it demolished <laughs> some of the some of the endings and some of the seasons that we've received on disney plus from the mcu over the last like year and a half um yeah. i mean this is this is on on par with loki yeah. endings um because no one and and maybe it's because I've also very much am looking at things like I don't want to hear people talk about. It, I don't want to hear theory spouse, but I swear, I don't know if this what the twist, the ending was on anyone's bingo card. No, I don't think so. I mean, even though the breadcrumbs are right, if you're talking about. Billy being the one who conjured I'm up the road. I'm talking about the road. Yeah, the yeah, actual yeah. road. Because yeah. because the whole death of it all, like like that, I put that on on a B storyline almost. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like like it's important for very many reasons, but the big revelation, and and it's ironic because the show is called Agatha all along when really at the end of the day it was Billy all along this season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I love Agatha's line too. It's just like you did, you know, you, you did something interesting with your powers <laughs> that your yeah, mom did. Yeah, I'm like your mother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. and last week or the other week when we were talking about the tower reversed mm-hmm. episode, as I like to call it, uh, Lilia's episode, we we talked about how like all these breadcrumbs were there, and but nobody was paying attention enough. To really have already put together or those pieces. And so mm-hmm. that's what made this revelation so much sweeter is that yeah. it hits you and it's like, I see all the logic. Yeah. That's amazing. And and then it just increases rewatchability because people mm-hmm. will want to watch from the beginning so they can see everything that they missed or things will stand out in a different way. Yep. And it's just I, I was, and, and also on top of it, on top of it, like we're talking about the very end of episode eight is when Billy returns home and he looks in his room and all of the pieces are there. And it's just Mm -hmm. like, and then you hear the line from Lilia of saying, you're the magician and you wanted this. So Mm -hmm. you made it happen. But on top of it. It's just like, okay, well, that felt like a very, like, aha, end of season (laughs) cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no, they were like, you probably also, because I'll admit, I was also like, wait, wait, can I clarify? So he made, like, what? Like, I needed the final episode, which is truly Agatha's episode, and to really put the pieces all together mm-hmm. because you're you're just like, oh, so now I get it. Yeah. So the way they were like the road was a con for Agatha mm-hmm. and it had been buried. The the con became a myth, became a legend. Yeah. And then Billy took that. And made it into a reality. And it's just, oh, so well done. So, so well done. Yeah. And I, one, as soon as I finished that, the episode, both episodes, I was like, perfect. I'm so glad that they had these dropped back to back. Yeah. Just, yeah. Um, because they really, you know, it really was like, you know, it, it was, it felt like a a movie and, 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 and a complete story. And and the other thing too that I really really enjoyed about it was, 
you know, I, I kind of joked during over the course of our reviews. Oh, yeah, well, you know, we'll get the Marvel usual third act and, you know, fireworks and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But they didn't do that. I mean, yes, there was a Marvel third act fight in, in episode eight, but, you know, all of it was like, basically, we just saw the flashes when Death, like, threw Billy over into the greenhouse. So, you know, so we had those moments, but, you know, it, but that wasn't the focal point. I mean, it was all about the story and all about the breadcrumbs. And like, like you said, I mean, it was just the, 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 the really how he conjured things from you know, the, 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 the ultimate con game that, you know, then the con artist that, that, that Agatha is, um, mm -hmm. was just, was just brilliant stroke i mean as far as like you know every, you know we're going into that episode eight i was like oh you know we will we will you know i was anticipating you know i was i was anticipating the showdown between De agatha and death and i was thinking like oh yeah we're gonna get a tommy like show up i never did i, I will say i never thought wanda was going to show up because i think they made this very clear that this is this is not Wanda's story now. It's about, even though Wanda's presence is there clearly, but I never, I, I, I was really hoping that they wouldn't go there and I'm glad it did not go there. So yeah, I, I was, yeah. yes. Yeah. I, I would just like to say that I never thought we would see Tommy. I never thought we would see Wanda or vision. I don't know why, but that possibility never happened in my mind i i thought like in a way the way they ended episode eight i was just like oh my god we have one more episode thank god yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it felt, I had, like, it felt I had, like a finale like, it, it really did right. it could, yeah. and and that's why like i had kind of checked out of the fight but at the same time the fight in my opinion was so short mm -hmm. that it was perfect because you just needed to get to that point where Agatha tells him um, she's going to sacrifice herself. Yeah. And and then there's the double cross. Mm -hmm. And you need the double cross. And then you need that moment of her actual sacrificing herself. Mm -hmm. um, because of, of her... Uh, what she couldn't do for her son, essentially. Yeah. And yeah. it's and just I, like I, like that was the big moment of the fight. It's it wasn't necessarily about the powers and them going one on one. It was more about that, like because and they set that up at the very beginning of the episode when you have this very what felt like the longest scene in the entire episode. Um, maybe is between her and death and Rio at the very beginning. And you're getting these hints about how, like, why is death still here? And it's because what I found so interesting is it's because Billy's an abomination mm -hmm. and she mm -hmm. wants to remove him and make sure and guarantee he can't bring Tommy Tommy um back right. and it's just right. I like that those were other things I never thought about that I mean like I had just naturally assumed he jumped into somebody's body too <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah and I yeah yeah that was, or, yeah, I think yeah, that was very or important that death, oh, like death wanted him gone yeah um yeah, but but sorry, um, go ahead. I I was rambling a little bit much. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was, I was just going to pick up that point about death wanting him gone and, and and making it very clear that to Agatha that he had to make the choice, you know, because, um, you know, she if he you know because if 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 he if she just if you know if Agatha takes him out, then he can just reincarnate himself and they, we start this whole thing over again. So it really get to that point about right. the abomination. And then the other thing too, that you were talking about the fight that, that I just wanted to bring up, what made that scene so strong and worked so well, especially how, you know, how they built up to it uh, early on in the episode, um, you know, just to, to reinforce the points we were talking about with the, the uh, Agatha bringing him in 
is mm-hmm. um and it really sets up the sets up the, the the second episode as well is when billy like gets you know gets into agatha's head and, and you know and it questions uh is this how nick died nikki died yeah um yeah because again that just you know i think it, it, it wait, wanted wait, to show wait, some, yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought for some reason we had moved on to episode nine for a moment, but no. Uh, yeah, that that was that was what allowed her to actually self-sacrifice herself. Yeah. 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 It's just yeah. So I just thought those were just really just you know just to go back to that point earlier. I I get, get I just wanted to really you know reinforce why I thought the the what what made this penultimate episode uh, just work so on, on so many levels. Um, Again, it's just all, all this is all the character, all the character beats, and and it really just like pulls all those little th- all the all the various threads that we had all up to in the prior seven episodes and things that were said, things that were done. You know, I I just felt they were all very satisfying payoffs uh, in in this right. episode, and to the point where I was just like, wait a minute, <laughs> you know, I I knew we had one more episode to go, but I was like. Okay, they did all this in episode eight. I mean, what the what the hell are they gonna do in episode nine? Because yeah, you know, yeah, because you know, we we also learn about uh Jen, you know, Agatha bonding Jen. Um that whole thing was just like yeah. well, well, I I forgot or I I was just I had to make some money. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, all of her and and you really feel for Jen as she's doing the unbinding mm-hmm. spell and I feel as though that scene in particular between her and Agatha just showcases why even as early as WandaVision you could tell that Catherine Hahn in this part just needed more time mm-hmm. because She walks such a fascinating line that's very difficult to do of where you actually like Agatha, Mm -hmm. even Mm -hmm. though you know she's a complete phony con artist bitch. (laughs) Like, (laughs) she's not a good person. No. But there's also something about her her almost flat-out ownership. Mm -hmm. Like... Um, we're like, yeah, I, I did it, whatever, moving yeah. on. Like, yep. what do you expect that you're just like, okay, well, at least she's not sitting in here denial yeah. <laughs> or, <laughs> but, and, and it's just, it's not like she's not bad, but she's, she's not good either. Um, I, every time I think about and, um, the anti-hero, Mm-hmm. Do you know? Do you know what the first thought comes to my mind? Do you? Uh, do you? <laughs> okay, it's, it's a, a movie Shige? that I don't think. Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's not Yaba Shuge. No, 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 okay. no. We're okay. not talking about the penguin quite yet. Okay. But <laughs> no, it what my I, my honest to god first thought is a movie that I don't think neither of us have seen, but we've seen the trailers. So Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I know, I know from people who watched that movie that they did not do a good job, and he never really was the bad guy, Mm. even though so so and but she is while simultaneously, no, I wouldn't say being the hero, but being that our protagonist. So it's just, it's she they they do such a good job between her performance because. She goes from like brushing it off to Jen starting the spell, and the longer it goes on, you see it through her face. Like Agatha's, it, you see glimmers of of um, remorse almost. Yeah. yeah. And and then and then Jen gets her powers and disappears, and then you have this moment where you're like, oh, okay, so this is where she's gonna get Billy to turn himself over to death. Okay. But no, that doesn't happen. She actually, they start to let's find Tommy. Let's do this. Let's bring that Tommy. And, and this is 
leads into something that between both episodes I thought was really clever. Um, was Billy is now more like Agatha than his mm-hmm. own mom. Yep. It's yep. but but even maybe maybe that's not right because there was this little old movie called Doctor Strange Two where Wanda went a little cuckoo. So <laughs> so maybe that's not completely right. But there's like they and and it's not for better <laughs> necessarily. No. No, because no, because like the realization that he's the person who made up the road. Well, you uh, therefore then killed Mrs. Hart. Yep. Um, which thank God they kept that going with Agatha not knowing who Sharon was. <laughs> <laughs> my my, yeah. my only my only gripe about this whole finale is at the end when they make the memorial and inscribe all the names, they put Sharon Hart. They should have put yeah. the gardener lady. Yeah. The other green, the other green witch. <laughs> yeah. And, and during them trying to find Tommy, you suddenly start to see, see and hear through Billy, like his hesitation, like, wait a second. Like there's this person, he's in trouble he is it's he's in a bad place Mm -hmm. but he has to die for my brother to be reborn like how fucked up is that yeah yeah. that's something that didn't see coming at all either Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Uh, that yeah that that those 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 questions i think is another thing reason why this show just really like just really resonated with me because it it really you know, in that moment where Billy is trying to figure out, like, you know, does ask the question, you know, am I killing this boy so my brother can live? And then also, you know, he, he literally does have blood on his hands other than other than Jen. But, uh, and it, and you are you are right. I mean, I know it, it, it. Yes, Wanda did have her moments in Doctor Strange too, but I mean, Billy takes it to the next level. As far as just you know, yes, they both they both have the same thing in con, you know, with, but I guess I guess I guess in Wanda's case, you know, she conjured up Westview and the and the hex, you know, out of grief, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. you know, and I guess in, even in this episode, oh, yep, oh, yeah, yep. Billy did too, yeah, Billy also conjured. It was a grief uh, of of losing of losing you know losing his brother. Yeah, and and arguably, by the end of the next episode, we realize that the whole road, song and dance, was created mm-hmm. out of grief yep. over Agatha losing her, her son. Yep, yeah. Like, and then that just takes you back to anybody who's been watching both Wanda, WandaVision and this show, the mm-hmm. penultimate episode of WandaVision, where it talks about grief. Um, and love in mm-hmm. the one of the most poetic conversations ever on screen. So yep. it's just like, thank God, Jack Schaefer was the showrunner for both of these shows. Mm-hmm. And and I know I know Vision Quest is quote unquote on the horizon. Put her there too. <laughs> yeah, she should <laughs> consult with Terry Metalis. I, I I I'm confident that Terry will will get it right. Just seeing the work that he did with Star Trek Picard season three. So I'm I'm not okay. worried there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, but let her have some con- consultation because I don't know. So far, she's just a two for two on this with yep. these characters. She knows them so well. Or or this. <laughs> it's not even the characters. It's this world of yep. Westview. Um. And I just, like, into episode nine, Maiden Mother Come. So we, we start off with, with the flashback to the literal birth scene. Another thing that I don't know what's going on, but this is, like, between this show and House of Dragons, I've seen so many births on TV over the last <laughs> few years. <laughs> now, granted, traumatic, this one tra- was... Traumatic births of that, yeah. 
Yeah, this one could have been more dramatic, but it, it yeah. didn't. It felt more like it just like, and then she pushed and popped right out. And I'm like, well, it's not, but well, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, but it's it's interesting. The more we talk about these two episodes, and specifically Billy and, and Agatha and their arcs and their similar motivations at the end, um. What Agatha says to Nikki as a little, little baby who can't talk back, um, I didn't cast a spell or an incantation. I made you, I made you, um, from scratch. Yeah. How much do you think that is true? Uh, yeah, you know, whenever she said that, I, I'm trying to think back to because I watched the show on Halloween, so it's been a few days. Um, mm-hmm. I know what I, I, I that line stuck out to me uh, that he was uh, that basically I thought he was a natural birth, um, mm-hmm. and and so which made I think which makes the when when re, when death comes to to take him i think that that just adds to to the deeper for me it, it added a deeper level for like why he you know why nikki was just so special um and also it, it, it shuts up another contrast between her and wanda mhm uh it was really what i think maybe at the, at the real when i think back i think that was the thing that really that that stuck out to me uh whenever she said that when i was watching the episode I, the more I talk about these episodes and the more I think about everything we're shown, I'm a good 60 40 and I'm mm-hmm. leaning more towards. No, she didn't cast a spell, she didn't do an incantation, but she did something mm-hmm. because there is never a mention of the father. Yeah. There, there, there's nothing. And then, and then I think about it like, Death really wanted Billy to go because he's an abomination. Mm -hmm. We get no indication as to why, why Nikki had to die. Like we saw, we quote unquote saw the birth. He looked Mm -hmm. perfectly fine. It was like, what, what is happening? Or maybe, or maybe it wasn't going to be fine. And then death was like, okay, I'll give you time. Mm -hmm. But Still, there was, it was just, it was weird. It, and, and maybe I'm just playing into what they want you to think, want you to question as they clearly have set up for season two to go find Tommy at the end of this. Yeah. But you're, I just, and the fact that if we go back to the episode eight, for her to get out of the last trial, she, in a way, didn't do a spell or incantation to an extent her own tears like managed to grow like create this this plant yeah yeah um so and and she was saying something about i forget the exact lines that she was saying about how she was able to do that um and that's what ended that trial and it was to help with like another thing that my mind keeps going back to is is the locket has a piece of hair in it mm-hmm. and that is from Nikki. Mm-hmm. That hair is very well preserved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For sure. For yeah. 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 And yeah. it just there and 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 I'm just gonna throw that she, she's also clearly a lesbian. So oh, yeah. oh, I, don't, yeah. I mean yeah, I mean the, the I queerness of this show was like on full display. <laughs> yeah. So I I honestly just can't see her with a man. Yeah. So unless she just had a donor. I mean, you know, that that could have happened. Well, it, it was also the 1750s, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she it's not like she traveled to the future for modern day mission. I no, need a donor. No, no. No, no, no. She just like, yeah. I was just, or I mean, or I mean, or maybe, you know, I mean, it maybe it could have been just an immaculate conception. I mean, you and that maybe that's why this is called the maiden mother. Mm-hmm. But, but again, 
immaculate conception or not, does that still mean that the kid is an abomination? Like, I, I like to, I see on one hand how it's very interesting if it's not. And she did what Wanda couldn't. Mm. But at the same time, I don't know if it's, I would, I'm starting to wonder if it's even better if it's not. And that both of them did this thing. Um, because at the end of the day, all they really wanted was, was family and they had so much grief. I yeah. don't know. It's just, it's fascinating. It is. Um, I, um, the more, the more we really think about it. And like I said, I'm so glad there's a season two. And, and I'm also glad that, you know, to go back to the last episode or episode eight, the big fight, they also killed Agatha. Yeah. <laughs> They did. Yeah, she went, she, yeah, which I think, yeah, yeah, they, 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 I said, yeah, they killed, they did kill her, and, and I think, you know, they, and they, you know, the, I think in the locket, wasn't there also, like, the dandelion piece, too, mm-hmm. I mean, they go back to her, because, you know, she went back to her original form, which was, you know, she came of the earth, and then she went, you know, after the kiss yep. of death, she went back to the earth, so. Um, yep. Yeah, and. And something, so episode nine is a lot about, it's set, is a, a lot set in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, and and we great, get a great montage sequence of after Nikki dies, of Agatha, like being first encountered by a witch who wants to, to, her to take her to the road. Mm-hmm. And then we see the, the con play out to the song. And and I kept and a thought came to my mind earlier today yeah. that the very first episode when we're introduced to want, uh, to Agatha in Westview mm-hmm. where where she was left it was her investigating a murder of yep. a woman in mm-hmm. the woods mm-hmm. and then you see the black fingers and it's like oh that was a witch this is yeah. a murder witch. Bravo. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Bravo. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so good. It's just, I mean, maybe I don't know when, but maybe I'll rewatch this season. But the more I think about it, the more they they had so much that they just teased out in the one of the best paced seasons yeah. that I've seen in a bit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, and you're right, and 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 it was best paid, one of the best paced seasons. Um, you know, I, I, one of the things I thought too as I was watching the this episode was like, you know, you put the origin story of Agatha at the in the finale, <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. and 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 seeing how the song evolved with the con yeah. o- over time, and and and, and Nikki's like. You know, questioning why you know why are we doing this, and 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 yep. questioning you know, and and then ultimately, um, her, why you know her motivations again, like we were talking about before, is grief and and also just avoidance of you know she, when she you know after Nikki dies, she takes it you know each you know coven that she has, and I'm so and I see now why they. Change, they went back to Agatha all along instead of Agatha Coven of Chaos, as far mm-hmm. as the title. Because as I was, I was like, okay, because every coven that she ha- that she builds, she you know she draw takes her power so she can just continue to avoid this, avoid having to um, deal with Nikki's death, and and, right. and and even to the place where even after episode eight, she's you know. You know, unlike Rio and and Lila and you know other people that death has has taken, you know Agatha still figures out a way to like not die and, and you know becomes a ghost and now she's in purgatory. <laughs> so it, yeah. I think it was a perfect ending. Well, um, you know, because generally ghosts, yeah. So I, I just really thought that was just like it made sense to me how this how this how this first season ended. Uh, because yeah. it's just yes, there was there was growth 
for Agatha. But at the end of the day, she still there's still more for this character to to do, even though she made that sacrifice uh, in episode eight. Yeah, because because there's also still more for Billy to do, mm-hmm. and there. And I, what I was going to say when you brought up the fact that she was able to escape death again and come back as a witch and still hold on is, well, we have to remember, like, death pointed out to her in episode eight very early on. She's had the most special treatment of anyone. Yeah. So, like, their relationship has a lot to do with with how, how Agatha is able to avoid death. Um, yeah. and, and that's something that they've arguably have held the back the most on as us really because we never got to see them meet we didn't get a meet cute we got a meet end yeah (laughs) (laughs) we we got more but there's still something there so it's it's um they they have definitely allowed um a continuation while at the same time uh the the start and end of a chapter that where it's like and eh, now we're gonna go on to the next chapter um because it really was billy all along <laughs> yeah <laughs> for sure for sure yeah <laughs> and, oh yeah. i was also gonna say it should have never been a coven of chaos i like agatha all along because they got the double a's but yeah. But come on, why couldn't it have been Agatha Coven- Covenless Witch? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, well then that would have told us all like, you know, that would have I mean it told us so many other things if we had just been paying attention, but <laughs> Right, but, right. Uh, well, yeah, how do yeah. you know? The the yeah. number of things they told us that we we are like, are we yeah. the only ones who recognize that but didn't really take it in? <laughs> <'Cause>... yeah, <exactly. laughs> Yeah, but like we said mm-hmm. last week with this show, I mean, it, I, you know, it wasn't a show like what, what I think you put it best. It's like it wasn't a show that I knew I needed, but I'm glad I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I am glad, and it, and it, I'm glad that it also aired. 